Okay, thank you. My name is Tijam, and I have a few with me. If yes. you. Good morning. Get it on me, Tata. Mm. No, no. Oh. How did you come? I couldn't assess well yesterday. Oh, but I was begging you to, you know, join me in this setting for fear. If you. You were behaving like the president <laughs> is your father, <laughs> or was the father. You know, thank God you, you felt uh, it. You know. Did you buy? Uh, I bought, but that was uh, 800 naira. We are mega station. Uh, not mega. Mega is, was, um, I think it's 600. And, um, it's it was, a, it was, 800 is normal, normal price now. My friend said, said he bought 830. Really? Yes. Here in Oka? Yes, here in Oka, 830. That was also. So, what is this discrepancy in uh, pricing? An NMPC is 600. So how can NMC, NMPC sell 600 and all the people are topping 200 naira? I don't understand what's going on. Shall we will have petroleum commissioner, petroleum products commissioner, and uh, all this uh, PP whatever supervisor. Yeah, and whatever. Price, uh, so you know. what exactly is going on here? It's hard on us. It's hard. Very the money hard. is not coming. It's not increasing. But the expenses are increasing. Eh? Do I need to kneel down? I'm going to make a mother with two men over there. You know, I, I watched the video where um, a guy who's, who's a Nigerian went for British Got Talent. Mm. Nobody knew how that guy kept coming. The same edition, he kept coming in and then, you know, with different names and different So I just said, Nigeria, oh, now I'm a case You know, we always raise a little whatever we do. I don't have a bag on you for you. I don't have a bag on you. It was a bag for you. He went to 10,000 naira. Where we were fed then, he was there to 2,000 naira. They go to our new So you, you don't even feed well. Your car fits better than you. You know? Oh, my God. Yes. So, okay. Let's go on. We'll have a um, press review coming immediately after this break, please. Okay, welcome back. Time now to bring you a press review. Joining me this morning for press review is uh, Izu AGK. May Izu, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, uh, madam. Good morning, Dan Ambra. Good morning, our viewers. Good morning, my good friend and brother. Okay. I also have Sir Jerry Obodo. He's a public affairs analyst. Welcome, Jerry. Thanks for having me, uh, Nigerians. Dan Ambra, let us uh, rule together to see what the tabloids is telling us. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's start rolling from our website this morning. Uh, the first story there says, Anambra State Assembly commences three-day retreat. And then Anambra State Police Command debunks report on killing of 20, 21 soldiers in Anambra. Eight suspects are arrested in Oka for extortion. Uh, these are many more other stories you'll find from our website this morning, www.absradiotv.com. Okay, yes, um, that's this um, retreat, I saw it at the television news, where the House of Assembly members gathered and uh, with some old um, people that have worked in, the, like the clerk and the holder, have worked in the assembly for a refresher course, you know. So, Sir Jerry, how do you see that? You know, uh, it's, it's, a, I, it's a welcome development, it's, you know. It's a step in the right direction. Uh, you know, uh, training and retraining is necessary for um, 
you know, uh, in a progressive organization, uh, um, organized private sector, public sector, uh, even the House of Assembly. Um, uh, when you assemble uh, technocrats, uh, resource persons, uh, with a good idea and uh, uh, you know the things that are digital, digital now you know it will help the lawmakers to refresh you know their brain not uh, uh, you know doing one thing uh, all the time it won't achieve much but uh, with injection of uh, new ideas and uh, new blood into your system you perform optimally so uh, I commend them for uh, thinking in that direction. Uh, you know, I give you an example. Uh, I know somebody in the uh, was uh, you know uh, uh, his uh, account was uh, compromised. Uh, you know, in the bank, and uh, questions were asked. Uh, wh wh what happened? He said, uh, you know. They just called him, that is from the person is from their head office, and they said he's creating an app and uh, asked, uh, give him, uh, created a, a, num a number, asked him to call it. The guy called it, and that was it. Okay, and they defrauded him. They defrauded him. And okay. Now, without uh, uh, you know, giving them his uh, PIN number, giving them BVN, they still assessed his uh, account. So I told the bankers, Look, you guys, how, how did it happen? They were confused. I said, you guys need to upgrade your, you know, your, your this thing. Yes! You know, go to refresher courses and uh, watch these guys on uh, that level. So okay. that kind of thing is uh, what is good. All right, thank you. Yes, it's Zuana Breasted Place, come on, debunks reports from today, the clean of Twitter. Yeah, I think that news broke, was it on uh, um, Monday or Tuesday? Well, uh, uh, I heard that on it Monday was everywhere. Uh, 21 that. soldiers were killed. Yeah, the that first thing that came to my mind was uh, Okoama or whatever. The Delta State, man. Okay. So, uh, but yeah. when you read the, you read the news, uh, it's so empty uh, between Onicha and Enugu. We are between Onicha and Enugu and a whole lot of things. Why this kind of expensive rumor? Well, um, well, I say that we are in a period when people wake up and write anything and then the masses will believe. It takes only but few to strictly verify before sharing information. These days when you go to when you go to social media you see people spreading, forwarding a lot of messages, forwarding sharing a lot of propaganda. Nobody cares to know whether it is true or not. Just share as you receive. Yeah. So I charge our people to look inwardly, to check very well before disseminating information. So I, I commend the Nigerian police force and the command for debunking um, this room of so speculating, yeah, speculating, every, speculating everywhere, saying that I'm an um, uh, that Adam Brasted is, is not like other states. It's not possible. Mm. So for Adam Brasted, um, House of Assembly, this thing, and I'm rested for the assembly commences three day retreat. Well, I commend the leadership of the assembly and I also use this medium opportunity to charge them because to whom much is given, much is expected. It's always good to refresh their memories and to charge them on the need, on why they are there. There is good, yes. I also charge them to get resource persons across the Niger so that they will be able to update themselves. When you go to other assemblies outside Nigeria, you see how they are doing. When you meet legislators, you know that they are legislators by excellence. So I charge them the three days workshop. We believe that it will be impactful and it will be for the good of our people. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for want of time. Let's move over to the papers. Uh, the last story said there's uh, eight people who are uh, ar arrested for extortion. And then I wonder who is the starting who now? Okay, um, the, oh, what do you call it? The Daily Times is our first paper this morning. And the better headline, they say, halt implementation of uh, a cyber security levy, HOR, or the CBN. 
I think it's been halted. Okay, the rest of Bank to withdraw ambiguous secular in existence. Uh, LCCI commenced Laos commence Laos rep over directive to Apex Bank. And then um, NESG false timing of cyber security levy says Nigerians battling high food prices. Is it just food prices? You can't even pay your house rent. You can't buy fuel. You can't buy gas to cook. There is nothing that, there's nowhere that we are taking respite in this country. And then you are bringing up levies and taxes like in the days of the Bible. Okay, so many tariffs here and there. As the Regis Wage Award insists on negotiated salary for members, this is on top of the name template of the Daily Times newspaper, court admits BTC ensued challenging or bar of Benin Authority. Federal government recaptures more flame inmates, Tunji Ojo, and then tax evasion. FCT, I, I, IRS, a short school, hostel, hostel, and others. Do we have another story coming from here? Okay. NLC to neck, a reverse electricity tariff hike or face uh, resistance. How have you been able to resist all the tariffs? Let's move on. Uh, the Punch newspaper is our next paper this morning. Coastal Highway Probe, reps to summon Edun, Omahi, and AGF. It does appear the refs are now spitting more fire than the Senate. Works, works Ministry, Defense Project, House Panel gets four weeks to complete probe. Yeah, and then Senate okays death penalty for drug traffickers. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do we have coming from the Punch newspaper? Uh, reverse crisis, uh, Fubara, Lomikas, Lockhorns again. Okay, that's all we're taking from here. Let's look at Vanguard before we start talking. Uh, do we have any major story coming from Vanguard? Uh, Lagos Calabar Coastal Highways project not okayed by NAS procurement for probe <laughs> reps. Hey, voila. Ask Minister of Works, Finance, Justice, AGF to send all guarantees, credits, and enhancement instruments to NAS say project didn't get NAS approval. Okay. A 2.7 billion Naira fraud, ex-aviation minister Surika, daughter, docked, gets 100 million Naira bail. Edoguba, crack in LP as youth leader declares dissolution of ESCO. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other story of interest here? The Senate reps disagree on implementation of cyber security levy. How? Both arms of NAS passed levy into law after public hearing. This is coming from Senate. And then says levy not punitive, but aimed at protecting national security economy. IMF cautions federal governments against a CBN Act amendment. Federal government telecoms operators disagree on tariff hike. Okay, I think uh, sometimes it does appear that um, a spell is cast on Nigerians that whatever come you, you know, swallow it hook, mm. line, and sinker, but people are now talking. Mm. Okay, daily independence before we start talking, please. The Senate okay death penalty for drug traffickers and others. Any other story of interest here? Senate reps disagree on new. Okay, we well, have seen that. And then. Um, IGP charges police legal officers to protect citizens' right due process. Tinubu appoints Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. It will ask Kosia NCDMB. Okay, gentlemen, let's uh, begin. I mean, start from where we, uh, we begin from where we started. This um, CBN directive on cyber security and the reaction thereof. Let me start with you, Izu. Well, when I when I read that, was it um, was it last two weeks, a week ago? But um, this uh, new policy by the CBN. I think it broke up, broke down uh, out of Monday. The no, news. Okay. Okay. And when I went online, I was seeing many reactions from Nigerians. 
Of course, you know Nigerians we are good in reaction. We are also good in social media protests. Hashtag Eka, hashtag Eka. And that doesn't go anywhere. We are good in talking, in talking, but when it comes to implementation stage, we, we will just swallow everything. So for me, I don't know whether it has come to stay or not. But mine is, let the writing be done. That's all I have to say for this thing. Okay. And uh, you might want to add one or two things, Jerry. Well, About the cyber security levy. It's, uh, you know, the, it's unfortunate that uh, they keep on, you know, uh, compounding the problem of uh, Nigerians, you know, from one tariff to another, from electricity tariff, uh, cyber cover, uh, fuel subsidy removal without uh, commensurate, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, services or cushioning effect things which they promised to high, uh, uh, hiking of uh, food items. Everything is on the high side. And the pharmacies are suffering and dying. Fellas is suffering and smiling. Reactionary conservatives, uh, like my, my friend said, reactionary conservative. Reaction without, you know, matching it with action. You know, if it is an advanced climb, they will go to the street, stay there for six months, one month, two years, and get the results. You know, even the NLC, if they say it's like a two-leg uh, two dog, you know. So uh, it's unfortunate that we, we are on this uh, trail of the, uh, the rulers now. So whatever they are doing uh, is for the rich, not for the poor masses. Even though they, 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 they've selected some uh, in, you know, people that uh, they will be charging. But when you charge uh, corporate uh, bodies, it transfers the, the, the problem to who, who buys the finished product. So uh, it's still not a, a good thing. Let, them, let the Nigerian breed. Okay. So how do you see the rations of the reps and then um, the uh, standoff uh, between the two National Assembly where the um, NAS, I mean, the Senate is saying, well, both of us passed this into law. Why are you now saying that uh, it will stand? I mean, nah, what do you call it? Senate talking to House of Reps. Okay, the law was passed by both assemblies. So why are you now uh, stepping back? How do you see that reaction? You mean on, the, um, on this uh, same cyber cafe? Yes. Okay, cyber security. Because it was Rep that called for the whole. Rep, Rep uh, uh, told CBN to halt it immediately. Mm -hmm. And now Senate is saying, why should you even say that? Although I now be a pastor. Okay, okay, maybe because of this uh, numerous problems I, I, I enumerated, enumerated that is, uh, you know, very harsh on the Nigerians. Mm -hmm. some, they said is uh, 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 the timing, Adroma. Adro you know, so maybe that's why they've uh, stepped in. And the Nigerians are crying about it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's look at this uh, coastal highway probe. Rest to summon a doon and a whole lot of things. I think uh, some prominent Nigerians have started talking earlier than now. Uh, Obi started it. Uh, why, why this uh, highway? Why this coastal highway? Is that the priority for now? We have uh, some bad roads that are supposed to be fixed and then uh, we'll keep moving. This is just the first year in the, uh, this administration. You are embarking on such a gigantic project that will consume trillions of naira, okay? And then Omahi came for his head. I think we joined again. Omahi came for his head. And now reps and other people, prominent Nigerians have started talking. Uh, Afeni Fera said it yesterday. Why that project? And the whole lot of things are now coming out. Why the project? Well, I took the leaders DNA with you. DNA doesn't mean that you, they are from the same mother or father with you, but they share the same ideas and vision for you, with you. And this particular government, this sustainable administration, should have a roadmap. They should have a vision 2025 of where they are heading to, what you intend to achieve within this stipulated time. And backing on this um, gigantic project of Costa is 
It's not what Nigeria needs now. This is not what we need in Nigeria now. We go through some of the federal roads, you can't even assess it. By road, if you are going to Abuja, only Kogi alone, you spend no less than eight hours for you to get to Lokoja. For you to get to uh, um, uh, um, Lagos now, you spend closely almost all the day for you to get there. For a five hours journey. But from uh, Anambra here to Lokoja, this is a journey that would have taken two and a half hours. Or at most three hours. But you spend no less than eight hours due to back road network. The FEMA, they are not even doing their work. They are not even facing their work, the Federal Road Maintenance Agency. They are not doing anything because they, they need to be equipped. Adequate resources should be channeled to them. To be able to maintain the roads. To maintain the roads. They wait for when they deteriorate into. I think, uh, I think that budgetary allocations that have been allocated to some of these agencies and ministries should be made open. I don't really understand what's going on. I remember when uh, Umahi was addressing the press concerning that uh, project, that uh, this, uh, what's the name of that lady that uh, works with Arise, asked him, uh, do we have, um, uh, do we have uh, a laid down plan of how this project is going to go, the phase one, the phase two, the phase and whatever? He said yes. And then, can you present it to us? And now, Reps is saying that we did not okay this. Because the, the girl asked, did you go through the normal process? Before you start this project, he said yes. I'm perhaps attacking the young, the young lady. Now, Reps is saying in Vanguard as well, yeah. project not okayed by NAS procurement for probe. Yeah, let me, uh, you know, come in there. Uh, really, uh, it's, a, it's unfortunate we are in this uh, train. The, this train, uh, by this train, I mean the, the current uh, federal government. We know all how they came in, you know. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, the such, you know, gigantic project. Uh, if it is awarded by an administration, you know, they, you know, they take the glory. Uh -huh. The glory means some uh, things that comes out of it. Uh -huh. But if it is an old project, they won't go there because maybe. The other, uh, the, the past administration has uh, 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 collected their key bags. Uh, with the new project, they will get their key bags, whatever uh, is, is accruing from the contractors. So, it's not advisable to that, on this. Uh, that, is, that, is one, that is one thing. Then, uh, on the side of uh, observing due process, uh, it was alleged that uh, the due process was not observed. You know, the tendering and uh, the tendering and uh, every other thing that makes a due process for a, a project is not observed. Uh -huh. So, uh, Umahi was attacking uh, P2B, attacking the owner. He, he, he's speaking for their master. You know, they're paid I masters. wonder what is encouraging us in so, this so, level of impunity that so uh, is, is going it's on. Unfortunate. And it's uncalled for now that uh, uh, we're, we're in this uh, financial and economic uh, quagmire. Such a project, that such like. a project should not, uh, should, should not have right. uh, uh, come up by this time around. Okay, let's move on, gentlemen. From that independent who have the story, though we have seen it from all the papers, the story that says Senate okay, that's penalty for drug traffickers and others. And uh, the thing, <laughs> the uh, social media went and go since yesterday, saying, ah, death penalty for drug poachers, what about uh, polylooters? <laughs> I heard that one. <laughs> polylooters, okay, the politicians that are looting the nation's treasury. Look at Hadi Srika, the uh, former uh, aviation minister, and the daughter, the amount of money that we are taking from this, the treasury of the state. And so many of them look at that of the uh, Kogi state uh, ex-governor, and the whole lot of them, okay? So what do you do to such people? 
if, um, if you go into drug, if you catch the drug uh, traffickers and then sentence them to death. And these ones that have dipped their hands into the nation coffers and destroyed and uh, whatever, you know, national, you know, from the national treasury to consume the money that is spent for the whole nation. Nothing happens to them. That one is not a crime. You just drag them and then give them bail of 100 million naira and they go home. Is that what it's supposed to be? There are other areas we need to start looking at from to ensure that uh, the head is right. Because once the head is right, definitely the, the Lex is okay. Because if the, ESDC you know, is not compromised, what is stopping them from doing their job? Okay, that's, that, 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 that's what everybody is asking. So how do you say that? compromise. What is stopping you from doing your work, mm -hmm. doing your job? The mm. problem is that even the, I don't know, the, the, is it the, we are in a mess, even the judiciary. Okay, now, they, they have done their job. They have arrested the Sidika and the, the Dora and all that, and charged them to court. See what is, we are getting. They, they, they've given them a, you know, a soft landing. What is 100 million to? Uh, uh, to billions of naira they have started away. If it is ordinary man, uh, the streets, they will just catch him and jail him and all that. It's unfortunate that uh, we are in a mess. You know. Yes, gentlemen, we're still looking at uh, death penalty for drug traffickers. Izo. Ah. Well, um, I think um, this uh, is one of the ways to stop drug trafficking. Because if this law doesn't exist, you will see that on daily basis, many young Nigerians we also venture into the business of drug trafficking. We are in a period of political and economic uncertainty. People are exhausted, people are tired in this country. Look at the recent Wayek scores. Yeah, scores. Mass feeling. Mass feeling. This is to think that even the younger ones, they are no longer interested in education. Everybody is looking for shortcuts to make, to make money. Parents themselves, they are not even asking the, uh, the, the, the place where the money comes from. I know of a young lady who's, who is paying for her son's uh, school fees and her uh, son. And one day this guy came back with JLK. This woman was dancing, praising God that God has remembered her. <laughs> so which way? Where are we headed? So I commend the I commend the students for this great initiative, and um, I also charge them to also, like my sister said, a bill to also jail and punish polluters. So by this way, we also make sure that public officers, monitors. Yes, <laughs> public officers are well and properly guided. I know that whatever office they send, they send. They are there to serve the people and not to lose their funds. Thank you. Yes, I think some of us are looking at uh, a situation whereby you, you treat the symptoms instead of uh, the, the real sickness, okay? If people are going into drugs, have you sat down to ask yourself why? Why? If it's because they don't have job, provide job. It is because um, the economy is not moving on well, that you can't even, you know, nobody's sure of the next meal. Why don't you reject the economy? So why jump? the main problem and, and start treating the symptoms. That's what I say. We're not saying that drug, uh, drug abuse is okay, but then we can't continue, you know, leaving, leaving the foundation and then looking at the rules. Let's find out where the problem is and treat it and it will naturally go away. Okay. Okay, let's uh, look at the rest of the papers we have this morning. Uh, Nation newspaper is uh, the next paper. NLC justifies 615,000 Naira demand. And that is some um, new minimum wage. Mm -hmm. And that's just five, six hundred and fifteen. Now that's nation newspaper place. Okay, and I think that's all we're gonna take from there. Get a newspaper. Uh, how real estate firms, agencies, uh, fleece prospective property buyers, tenants. There's a story I saw somewhere I wanted or had wanted to talk about, but then I don't know where it is again. Okay, Nigerian Tribune uh, cyber security levy, hot implementation now. Rev style C B and we have seen that story. Uh, incidentally, we're not going to uh, look at other ones because we don't have enough time. With us, the last paper this morning is the, the Daily Trust. Refs ask CBN to withdraw secular on cyber security levies. Same stories everywhere. Insecurity, Kaduna to relocate 359 schools to where? To Anambra. 
Okay. Um, what else do we have here? POS agents will not pay monthly tax. CAC register. <laughs> CAC registrar. Okay. Ex aviation minister, we have seen that story and a whole lot of things, gentlemen. Uh, which other stories, apart from what we have um, talked about, that you want to talk, talk okay. on? Okay, the, the, Jerry, uh, the NLC justifies his one five okay. uh, demand. That we have not talked about that. Go ahead. Um, they, they've been uh, back and forth uh, between the uh, government, federal government, and the NLC. Uh -huh. um, the the government has been very inconsistent and uh, buying time with uh, the, the matter concerning the, the workers. And also, there has no harmonized salary uh, structure. When it is negotiated at the federal level, the state does not comply. So that is a problem that to, for Nigeria. You know, if there were to be a harmonized salary structure, what you are getting at the federal state will be getting that. You are, they are all going to the same market. Now, uh, that one apart, the federal government hasn't been very sincere in, what, uh, in their dealings. I'll give you an example. Uh, why not tell the labor straight in their face, look, this is the position of uh, the economy, this is what you can afford, like uh, the, the state governor. It's only when you come it to it the workers, wait, you it, know there's the position of the economy. To, you remember the to, economic to negotiate, situation? To finish negotiating. No. Said, I asked the question, is it million. when it comes to Nigerian workers, you know there's a situation in Nigeria, economic situation that you need to look at. When it comes to them yeah. and what they consume, do they consider the economic situation of Nigeria when they were buying 160 million naira worth of vehicles, when they are renovating their houses with <laughs> billions of naira? They don't consider economy, mm -hmm. a Nigerian economy. Yeah. But when it comes to the possible servants that are earning 15,000, 25,000, 30,000 to run your family, pay your house rent, they, they put your school, uh, children through schools, then you remember that's a Nigerian economy. For that, you will not increase the person's salary. You know, I, I don't really read, understand. I've already answered you. Okay. This government is not government instituted by the, um, the you know, the, 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 the masses, except uh, if not what transpired. Mm. You know, so, uh, you, uh, you know, we are in a, in a, in a mess. So okay. To say. Finally, before we go, mm -hmm. before we go, is to, let's uh, uh, be massaged light in River State, River's House, reaffirms legitimacy mm -hmm. as uh, Fubara backs uh, three loyal lawmakers. Uh, just yesterday, we heard that uh, the people that are, the lawmakers that are loyal to Fubara, they elected a new speaker. And then now, the, um, what did they say? Is it a clerk? What did I read last night? That somebody, I think it's a clerk that said that he doesn't recognize that speaker, that he is. He, he recognized the old speaker that has defected from PDP to uh, APC. What exactly is going on in River State? Well, what I would say, say that um, in any state, whoever is a man, what I mean that is a man, is a man. And I believe that many Riverans will go to high extent. As a matter of agency, Mr. President, President Ola Metinibu should call his minister to order. We can. They should stop engineering business. He must. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Isu, Isu, EGKMS, thank you very much for joining us this morning because uh, we're almost out of time. Thank you for coming this morning. As Sajori, Sajeri Obodo. Thank you very much for joining us too. It's my pleasure. God bless you. Okay, thank you. That's why we're doing a question on uh, our press review this week's edition. You just stand by now as we get set to move over to the other side of the divide when we look at uh, SM First or Vision building a digital community for Nigerian youth. This week, we rode with our youths to see if we can make a better nation. So we are continuing with them today. Do stand by. <laughs>